what is going on guys this is your boy pat from blue dragon digital in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how you can steal your competitors local seo strategy right we're going to go through pretty much every step that you need to take in order to find out what your competitors are doing and how you can steal their traffic right um, and this is basically a start to finish now this is primarily what you're going to be doing before you start any local seo campaign now before we get into pretty much going into an analysis of your competitors i should mention that although looking at your competitors is very important you shouldn't strictly focus on your competitors you should also be uh, putting a great focus um, on your own website on your own seo strategy right so don't get caught up with your competitors but with that with that being said let's get right into it all right guys so basically what you want to do first is um, let's take a look at my spreadsheet that I have. So the first thing you want to do is obviously you want to do a search for your competitors money keywords, right? Um, and this just means primarily for local, it's going to be your service keyword plus city or city plus service keyword, right? Um, and this is primarily what this means by a money keyword. It really just means which keywords do you want to target, which are going to drive you money right revenue that's the whole point when it comes to seo so you do want to make sure um, that you do your keyword research diligently and pick the best keywords according to your services that are going to bring you the most money right um, so that's primarily what you're going to do if you're a local based business um, and then what you can do is you can just put it into a google search and then this is where you're going to do the first step in stealing your competitors local seo strategy so for this tutorial, we're going to go into, um, let's say, you know, you own a orthodontist clinic or you have a client that has a orthodontist. Um, this is a key word that you would want to show up for, right? So Dallas orthodontist has an estimated search volume of 1300 and a cost per click of $16. Um, so this would be a great keyword to rank if, you know, you were an orthodontist in the Dallas area. Um, so the first thing you want to do here is let's go back to our spreadsheet. So the first thing I would do is, of course, do your Google search and then you can go in here. Um, and then step number two would be to check your competitors DA and PA using the Moz Chrome extension. Um, so you can see this plugin that I have up here. Um, it's the Moz bar. It's a free plugin that you can get so go ahead and download it and basically what this allows us to do is it gives you this bar uh, right under each of the websites um, and you can see the PA and the DA so pretty much the PA is the page authority um, and this looks at the authority on a page level um, and then the DA um, which is right next to it is the domain authority um, and that's taken into consideration of the whole domain right and it also lets us see how many links um, these particular websites have, right? So this is a very handy tool when it comes to doing a quick uh, competitor analysis, right? Um, because ideally, you know, you'd want your website to have, you know, some of the same DA or PA, right? Or relatively close um, in order to have, you know, a fair uh, competition. Now, now, if yours is lower, that doesn't mean you can't rank. It's just going to take a little bit more work, a little bit more time. Um, but this is a great tool for you guys to use. Um, and you can pretty much see, uh, your competition's domain strength, um, very quickly. Right. Um, and that's step two, when it comes to, you know, trying to steal your competitors SEO strategy. Um, so step number three would be to run your competitors URL through Uber suggest. Um, so let's go ahead and copy this URL. Um, so Uber suggest guys, it's a free tool. Um, if you have the budget, I would use something like SEMrush or Ahrefs. Um, but since I want everybody to be able to do uh, this exact strategy, I'm going to be using Neil Patel's tool, which is Uber suggest, which is a completely free tool. Um, it is limited because it is free, but you know, you get a pretty good overview, um, of your competitors, keywords and top ranking pages, right? Um, so let's go ahead and paste. Um, we're just going to go to the overview section and let's go ahead and paste, uh, the competitor's URL. Um, and then we're quickly going to get some, uh, metrics here. We have organic keywords, organic monthly traffic, 
uh, domain score and backlink. So you can see here that the domain score is pretty off compared to the Moz. Um, so the Moz gives them a DA of 18 um, and their domain score gives them a three. So you do want to make sure that, you know, you're not taking these metrics to heart. Um, it's just a guideline of, you know, what your competitors are doing, right? So what we want to do here is we, let's scroll down. Um, the first thing that you want to do, of course, this is on the list, is we do want to make sure what keywords are bringing our competitors the most traffic, right? Um, and this is basically what's going to give us the foundation of our SEO campaign, right? Because every SEO campaign is going to start from the keywords that you choose because these keywords are going to be the main focus around your page content and for your blog content, right? Um, so let's go ahead and take up their keywords. Um, so, you, you know, make sure you're on the US or whatever country you're located in. And then we can see here, um, it has the keywords um, in order from volume. So this is kind of an estimated a, on a monthly basis, right, of the number of people that search for this. And then it gives us the position. Um, and this is kind of the average position that this particular website ranks for these different keywords, right? And then this is the estimated monthly visits, right? So this is probably the more important metric we want to take a look at because this is the estimated traffic that this website is getting from these uh, particular keywords, right? According to the position that they rank in. Um, so we can see here that one of their top uh, keywords, orthodontics in Dallas, Dallas orthodontics, which is what we were searching for, uh, Highland Park orthodontics. So this is a, another city in the Dallas area. Um, orthodontist Highland Park, Highland Park Orthodontist, and then uh, we can click here, view all SEO keywords for the domain, um, and then we're going to get an even bigger list of keywords, right? Um, so you would want to make a note of which of these keywords uh, your business could also potentially rank for, right? Um, and it's primarily going to be different variations of, you know, probably the same keywords. Um, so you can see Dallas Orthodontist, Orthodontist Dallas. Um, if we scroll down, uh, orthodontist in Dallas, orthodontics in Dallas. So you can see primarily it's a bunch of different variations, but then let's scroll down, see if we can find any other, uh, keywords here. Uh, let's see. Uh, so we can see here, they also rank for what are good, good brace colors. So this could be good for like a blog or an article, right? Um, we have Texas Orthodontic Specialists. This is another good keyword here. Uh, can I drink coffee with braces? So this could be another blog that you could create content around and potentially steal their traffic, right? Um, Orthodontics Dallas, Orthodontics in Dallas, Texas. Uh, let's see, this is another city. Um, so you could potentially create like a city landing page. Uh, let's see braces in Dallas, Texas. So this could be another great keyword, right? If, if you're providing braces as a service, this is a very, very, uh, high revenue keyword. Um, if you were to be ranking, right, this could bring in a lot of money for your practice. Um, so this is basically what you will want to do, right? Just go ahead and analyze your competitors, keywords, see which ones apply to you and see which ones you could create content around, whether that's for a service page or for a blog page, right? All right, so that's step four, guys. Step five is check your competitors' top pages. The reason you wanna check your competitors' top pages is because those are the pages that are already driving traffic. Those are the pages that are already getting the clicks. So this makes it very easy on us in order to identify what pages we need to create. Um, and then we can analyze those pages and see how we can make ours better, right? So uh, you can also find this on the Neil Patel tool. Just go over top pages. It's right above the keywords. So if you click top pages here, it's going to give us a report of the top pages here. Uh, so we can see the estimated visits here. Um, so it looks like their home page is the one that's primarily driving the most traffic. Um, so we would want to go into their home page and kind of see, you know, what keywords are they mentioning? How is their on page structure? Um, and then number two, it looks like they have a city page here. So Highland Park um, is uh, a area in the Dallas uh, Metroplex. So this could be something to look at as well. Um, if you're trying to target, you know, surrounding areas, surrounding cities um, or whatever the case may be. 
Um, it is their number two most visited page. So this would be something to take a look at um, if you can also service, you know, the same area. And then looks like their top page is your Invisalign info. So these three are pages that you would want to analyze. Um, so you can see here, most of the other pages aren't pulling much data. Um, now, like I said, Neopatel is very limited on the data that they give you. Um, if you are using SEMrush or Ahrefs, you might get a little bit more data. Um, but like I said, I would probably pull, you know, the top three competitors for your keyword. And then I would do these same steps and analyze all the pages that you can find that are bringing the most traffic. Um, so that's going to give you a good starting point of what pages you need to focus on, right? And as well with step number five, you want to check what content is working the best, right? In terms of, is it a service page? Is it a blog post? Is it a case study? Um, so for the example that we're doing right here, we can see that their uh, most, uh, their page that is getting the most traffic is the home page, And then they have this contact Highland Park page. Um, so let's take a quick look at it. Um, so it looks like it's just a very short contact page, right? So um, you could probably make something similar and make it much better, right? You could probably add some more content on here um, about, you know, Highland Park, um, add some more relevancy, add some more information here, and you could probably outrank that page uh, pretty easily, right? Um, and that just that's pretty much what, you know, seeing what type of content is working for your competitors because you want to match that, make it better, and also create more content uh, to outrank your competitors, right? Step number six is to check your competitor's backlink profile. Um, and again, you can do this as well here on the Uber Suggest tool. Um, let's go ahead and check backlinks. And this is going to give us the backlink report, right? Um, and we're going to be able to see uh, all of their backlinks. We want to focus only on their do follow backlinks. These are the backlinks that Google is actually crawling. Um, and again, you want to make sure, you know, what type of backlinks are they? Are they business citations? Is it a guest post? Is it a blog comment? Um, are they using PBNs? Are they getting sponsor links? Um, that's really where you would want to do some research on. Uh, we can see here, uh, looks like this might be from a blog. Let's take a look at it. Um, so yeah, this could maybe even be a PBN. Um, it looks pretty spammy. Um, and it does have uh, let's see. Looks like they are also using a very uh, specific anchor text, which means you know this is probably a very uh, focused keyword that they're trying to rank for, right? So this is more than likely uh, a PBN that they're using here. Um, and then we can also see they have some EDU links that they're getting from UT Dallas. Uh, let's go down. Uh, let's see. So I can see some very, let's see what else we can find, a .org. So let's see what this website is. So this might be like some sort of directory. You can see they have their website right here. Um, so, you know, this could be something that you could try to get, you know, on. It doesn't look too hard to get onto. Um, and that's basically what you would do when you're going through here. Kind of check what anchor text they're using. Um, and then also, you know, very quickly take a look at the page to see if you can also uh, get a link on that same page, right? Um, and that would be step number six there. And then step number seven is to actually take a look at their on-page SEO. Um, so let's go ahead and open up their home page here. And you can do this very easily. I have a plugin uh, that's called SEO Minion. And I have a full tutorial on this. Uh, if you want to take a look at it, uh, I'll put it in the screen above. Uh, so basically all you have to do is click on the plugin and then going to go analyze on page SEO. And then right away, you're going to see their title tag. What title tag are they using? Um, and you can see the keywords that they're using Dallas orthodontist and then Highland park orthodontist, which are two of their primary keywords. And then you can see their description. Um, and then you can also see all their headings, right? So you can see, uh, their heading one also has, you know, their primary uh, keywords in it. And then you can also take a look at all the header twos, the header threes and the header fours. Um, so this is a very, very useful tool when it comes to on page SEO. And then um, you can also see uh, how many of their images have alt tags or how many um, are missing. You can see 
images without alt text uh, is 24 and you can even you know download that file um, so this could be something that you could take advantage of you know they're not using alt text so that could be something you could look into um, and then you can also take a look at you know the type of schema that they're using here um, to make sure yours is on point as well um, so i would definitely get this uh plug in if you can it makes it very easy and then you can pretty much go page by page um, to check out their on page and then you can even go you know a little bit more in depth and kind of just check you know their inner links you can see they're interlinking here uh, to another one of their pages um, and they're also outer linking let's see uh, nope looks like those are both inner links uh, let's see yep so that's on inner link as well another inner link so it looks like they're interlinking I would probably even say over excessively but it looks like it's working um, now you probably don't want to copy this exact strategy. Uh, I would rather it look much more natural than just plugging it in Visalign over and over again. Um, and then you can also take a look at their call to actions, you know, see how you can make yours better um, and see if they're outer linking anywhere, right? You also want to make sure uh, that you can outer link to reputable resources as well to further increase uh, your on page, right? And that's pretty much when it comes to step number seven. Uh, step number eight is to check their GMB. So what we can do is let's go ahead and type in uh, their exact uh, brand here. So let's see, let's take that off. See if we get anything. Um, so we can see their GMB right here. Um, some of the things you want to take a look at is their images, description, categories, and reviews, right? So right away, we can see they have quite a bit of reviews and they have a five star. Um, so you would probably want to work on a, a review strategy to, you know, get as many reviews as you can. Um, and then it looks like they have quite a bit of good images here. Um, so if this would you, I'd probably want to match the same type of images that they're using here. You can see it looks like they have uh, quite a bit of images here of the inside and I saw a few of the outside as well and then they have some branded ones. Um, so these are all things you want to take a look at uh, and then you can see they have orthodontist as their main category um, and then if we scroll down we can see their description as well and kind of see what keywords they're using here as well um, and these are all things you'd want to mimic and make better right. Um, that would be step number eight and then step number nine like I said um, you don't want to get so distracted on your competitors that you lose track of your own website so do make sure that you take the data from your competitors and make your own SEO strategy right I can't stress that enough um, so it's very important to you know have a unique SEO strategy when it comes to local SEO um, it's really just a guideline on, on what Google's already rewarding and how you can make yours better, right? Um, and that's always the goal when it comes to local SEO or just SEO in general, right? So that's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment if you have any questions below. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you all to my subscribers and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.